So, the Outer Worlds unboxing review. I just have to give you a couple of seconds to look at the front of the box. Hope you enjoy. It's a little weird. I don't know if you get a helmet in the game. You probably do, but I don't remember when you get wearing it. This character over here, I'm going to see if I can clear it up. I don't remember who she is. I think you do encounter her, but I don't remember who the other she is. So this is like the start of the second world. In general, it looks like a 50s, like, Fallout thing. In addition to, like, Wizard of Oz with, like, the gold font over there. But it could just be, like, a 50s car, like, font. It looks like some cherry blossoms and some plant life. It could, this is like a crash landing or possibly a broken robot head over here, auto mechanical head over here. It looks like, like the Wizard of Oz Emerald City over here. And then outside world, and then like some aliens. Then over here there's a spaceship. Then I find that pretty interesting. Spacer's choice is not responsible for any feeling of vertical wonder or hunger you may experience while playing this game. That's pretty cool that they played. They told the story, like giving instruction manuals from like how Spacer's Choice would do it, with the Spacer's Choice voice. I saw him brainwashed by Spacer's Choice in the game. Lost in treasure while on a Connolis ship. But for the first edge of the galaxy, you awake decades later than you expected while finding yourself in the midst of a deep conspiracy on the verge of destroying the Halkion colony. As you explore the furthest regions of space and encounter for the fractions vying for power, who you decide to become will determine the fate of everyone in Halkion. In the corporate equation for the colony, you are the unplanned variable. I don't remember the outer space, uh, outer edge of the galaxy thing. There definitely are a lot of factions. Auntie Cleos, love your claw, love your flaws. The flaw system is very interesting. Build any character that way you want. Flaws and all of this for the first person RPG. So basically the flaw system is like the saga system. Because it has like crazy stats. Like you can keep jumping and falling down. And then you develop acrophobia. And then you get get a bonus stat point for something you can use to improve your character. You get shot by fire, you get the pyromania. You get shot by plasma, something like else. Uh I'm trying to remember what else. Lots of flaws like that. Probably boost your character just by jumping off the clip a mountain a few times. Person the game blasted and then run away. Maybe you can increase your HP, I don't know. Rizzo's Big World Big Guns. Lead a crew of companions armed with unique abilities who are their own missions, motivations, and ideals. It's pretty well run and memorable for a member of the game. Odeon Pictures, Space Adventures. Find your ship and explore dangerous and diverse locales in the Hawkeon system. Welcome to the future try not to break it. Obsidian. 25 gigabytes minimum. I, I make a mistake, made a mistake to whoever I told that it's a 30 gigabyte minimum. I recall it being on, on the Xbox One that says it was a 30 gigabyte minimum. But maybe it's the save files. Because like when you save, when you up, download the game, install the game, when you install the game from the Xbox One and Game Pass, it's only like 16.5 gigabytes. So maybe it's a lot of spaces for the save files. Here's the mumble jumble. Uh, Sure, something plus blood and gore, intense violence. Strong language. Oh, it is. It's sort of the violence sort of reminds me of like that episode of Robot Chicken when Fred tries to like destroy every animal in the house that's a dinosaur because like he doesn't want witnesses for accidentally killing Barney or like stuff like in horror episodes of like Futurama or or The Simpsons where like. Like a crime, and then people go crazy, and then people gotta save themselves. And that's pretty much it. What are your thoughts? Like, I'm scribe. Uh, Unreal Engine, Private Division, Blu ray, T2. I'm never gonna read that. What are your thoughts? Like, I'm scribe.